Unfortunately, I have a huge problem and as you can see, I don't have a green thumb. Accordingly, my plants usually look like this, which makes me very sad. And, of course, the plants as well. Accordingly, I thought we would simply solve this today through technology. Maybe some of you feel the same way and we will just try out whether we can manage to have smart automations ensure that people like me get their plants watered regularly. 2021. I will tell you how it works after the intro. As always, have fun. Fortunately, I use Home Assistant. Accordingly, there is a really, really good way to implement the whole thing visually, aesthetically, and also in terms of notifications. What you need in terms of sensors is not much, as there is the flower care from Xiaomi, a small sensor that you insert into the flower pot. And from there, you can read all the values of the soil. I would say, let's just unpack the thing now and then we'll set it up together in Home Assistant. All you have to do is actually open the flap at the back and pull this plug out once. And from there, the device should already be online. Now let's jump into the Home Assistant installation, go to Settings, Devices and Services. And ideally, the device should appear nicely right here. We click on Configure once, Confirm, and can select an area here. I will put this here in the office, click on Finish, and then we should already get some information about the device. So, next I will plug the device directly into the flower pot and we will see if we can use it to nicely visualize the values in Home Assistant and also send us a notification as soon as the plant needs some attention again. First of all, I obviously need to find out what kind of plant I have here because I wasn't really into that topic either. However, there is a super practical app called Picture Disc. Fortunately, it can recognize the type of plant you have based on a photo. So I did that and found out that I have a Monstera here. The app can theoretically also tell you through image recognition whether the plant is doing well or poorly. But we want to implement that in Home Assistant now. For this, there is an open source project called Open Plant Book. The special thing is that you can easily search for plants in the database here. So if you know, in my case, that it is a Monstera, you will see the plants displayed here. I have the lower part here and can then take a look at what values this plant needs. So how much light this plant needs, what temperatures it requires, what humidity it needs and what soil moisture is necessary. Based on these values and in conjunction with this sensor, Home Assistant can determine how well the plant is doing, which values may need to be adjusted and when we reach a point where we need to take care of the plant again. Of course, one could also manually look up, copy and so on these values. However, it is certainly more practical, especially when you have multiple plants, to simply search in this database and automate things in Home Assistant based on that. To avoid having to type all of this out now, there are three different integrations that I would recommend to you. First, we have Home Assistant Plant, Home Assistant Open Plant Book, and thirdly, the Home Assistant Flower Card. First of all, we need to add the repositories here. It's quite simple. We just copy the URL and then go here to the three dots, select custom repositories, set the type to integration first, and then paste these links here and click on add. In my case, I have already done this, which is why this error message is displayed. We will do the same for Home Assistant Open Plan Book. So we will change the URL here, leave it on integration, click add again, and then we will add the flower card. Here we select not the type integration, but the type template and then add the flower card. After we have done that, we can also install these three integrations. They should now appear in the search by going here to the flower card. Then we see this here and an install button should appear at the bottom, which we can press once. I will show you this as an example in this integration. So you click on the download button below, simply select nothing and the latest version will be downloaded automatically. Next, we will do the same for open plan book and finally, of course, for Home Assistant planned. After we have installed the three, we need to restart Home Assistant once. This is also indicated in the settings and then we can start adding. On one hand, we can go to Open Plan Book here and generate an API key. Simply click on the link, register with Open Plan Book and then generate these two client ID and secrets in the settings. Insert them and confirm. Next, we go here to add integration, enter plant monitor. Now I need to enter the plant name, I already know it's Monstera, and the variety as well. And then I can set the sensors here. So we would have the plant temperature, the moisture, 
the conductivity, the light sensor and the humidity. This sensor doesn't include that, but I could simply take the humidity from my heaters, for example. So, after I have selected all of this, I click on Confirm. Now he automatically searches for the available varieties in Open Plant Book. So I select the right one and now it automatically pulls all the values from Open Plant Book, which I could have theoretically written down, but this way we have it automated here, just like with a preview image of the whole thing. Now I can click on Confirm here, select an area, 2001. If I press Finish here, I can also go directly into the plan monitor, see my plant here, and then also the corresponding sensors. It will take a moment here until he has pulled the statistics, but after a few seconds we will see the values displayed directly here, and we can also see that there is currently a problem with the plant. And to have it displayed in a visually appealing way, we can create our own dashboard here. To do this, we go to the settings, then to dashboards and then I click on Create Dashboard, New Dashboard, and simply name it Flower. And then we go into the dashboard here, click on the Edit icon, add a card, and can now search for the newly added card, Flower Care. Here we can then select which plant we want to use, and we could also add a battery sensor. Let's take this one here. So, then we can also see how full the sensor is, and at the same time, see the displayed values for 2001. Now I click here on Finish, and then we can check here and see, okay, the temperature is fine, the humidity is fine, the soil moisture is fine, but the brightness is not right at the moment. Well, I have lowered the blinds, and these two sensors here are also not matching. So that's where the problem comes from. Now, of course, we could say, okay, since I raise and lower the blinds, I don't want to receive a notification on my phone every time I should lower them during the day. Accordingly, we go here into the settings, devices and services, and then here to plant monitor and click on configure. And then we can set what should count as a problem trigger here. So we could, for example, say that the light intensity should not trigger a problem and the conductivity should be the same. Let's click on confirm and then this will be updated. And when we go into the flower card here, we can see that the problem icon disappears. So even though these values are still red, the plant is now okay again. So now everything is configured. We can see the whole thing visually. Lastly, I would like to receive a notification on my phone so that I don't have to check the dashboard every time in case something changes with the plant. For example, if I should water it again. I can now use this problem sensor as it summarizes all the values I have configured beforehand and will indicate a problem if any of these values should be negative. We will now use this in an automation. Go to settings, automations and scenes. I create a new automation, can add it as a new automation and the trigger is then the entity, a state, namely the plant, monstera, and when that is, OK, respectively. From my side, even from any state to the state of problem area, I would definitely like the device, my phone, to immediately send an alert notification with the detailed message that the plant needs some attention again. Absolutely. Save. So with that, I now have an automation that automatically sends me a notification when the plant changes to a critical state. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even found it helpful. If so, I would of course be very happy about a rating. If you have any questions on the topic, feel free to write them in the comments and help me improve this statistic here. And then I would say, see you in the next video. La. Until then, take care and goodbye.